Alrighty, well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, um, to preface this whole thing, um, I am in a bit of, I am in a bit of a rush. I just woke up from a nap, um, and I still need to work on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. But um, also uh, during my stream this morning, I um, I managed to, I managed to craft uh, High King Iron Gut, um, somebody I wanted for a very, very long time. But before I continue on, um, like I usually do, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. And this time around, it's going to be Toad Blood, their Toad Tales album. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. Okay. Anyway, um, this, is, this is just a team demo. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to showcase this. So, I forgot to say a few moments ago, but there's. Uh, there's, there might be some few, uh, there might be a few mistakes made here and there and stuff, but, but yeah. Anyway, um, this is my, this is my yummy yummy team. Um, that high high king iron gut, he's the main guy. So, uh, they're dealing uh, 48 damage to an enemy and a chance to devour them. Like it shows over here, uh, adds their attack, armor, and life to your own, provided they're not immune, equal to my equal to my attack rating. So, and right now it's at 55, basically meaning a 55% chance. And and he's a goblin, so gains an extra turn. Um, Brawl, the big uh, mana generator. So he's all-time classic right here. Um, Earth Fury. So, eliminates all armor from an enemy. This is okay. It gives everybody, um, it also gives everybody two attack. Boosted by armor, eliminated three for one. Uh, but the big thing with this, though, it's come in handy when, uh, when testing this out earlier. Uh, one big drawback with the team. Is you don't have the hero in the top position, so meaning I can't, this guy here has no access to uh, to rock solid. Nor does this, nor does this guy have any kind of uh, of skull damage reduction. So so if he uh, if he gets killed for whatever reason, it's gonna be kind of nice giving the rest of the team the extra attack because they're gonna need it. And then Leprechaun, and Leprechaun to get things started. And then uh, sometimes not everybody's gonna have access to this. I was, uh, I think I used Zolga at the bottom for a few, or for a few battles for uh, for enemies that are either impervious or otherwise immune to devour. So Zol comes in handy to finish him off. Um, I, I guess if you're, um, if the Delver Faction Assault that you're doing, um, allows it, you can also put, a uh, Possess King at the bottom as well. But, let me, um, so let me go ahead and do a demo run, do a demo run or two. Probably not the best kingdom. Oh, I'm thinking my um, my skull golf team. Yeah, a bunch of these are immune to burning. You want to prioritize skull damage again again you don't want to you don't want iron guard getting hit then you don't want to you don't want to cast it just yet you want to wait till you do earth fury first and then before 
about casting that. Make sure uh, you clear out any skulls or four or five gem matches. Okay, looks like we're good, I think. Yeah. And then whoever has the highest armor. There we go. We can now. 111%, so... Chop. And now he's sitting at 111 attack. Chomp. And then at this point, Earth Fury, you don't... You don't really need it. Or it's kind of low priority now. And as he had 270 attack. Look, impervious. Okay. Whoops. Didn't think gnomes were impervious to anything. So yeah, in this in for a situation like this, this is when you'd want Zolgoth on your team. He's gone. Oh, he stuck around. Good 
Stomp. But that's pretty much how the team works in there. Something else I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and change the name. Since I, since I say it a lot. Jump. And then, um, I, now that I think about it, I don't, I don't think I tried this team in PvP. But, um, I can't help but think that it's gonna have mixed results. Like, you most certainly couldn't use it on something like this. I mean, Leona's Tower, I mean, these guys are, these guys are immune to everything, even curses. Um, Now, normally I wouldn't use this kind of team against something with a team score of only 6,500, but for, for strictly for demo purposes, I'll go ahead and do it anyway. Not really, not really test worthy. I just want to, I don't want to spend a gem to refresh. Yeah, I keep getting an elementalist. But yeah, as you can probably, as you can probably tell so far. Yeah, not really much of a PvP team. This is uh, more suited to like explorers and uh, delves. That's the other big thing too. For all, for all the, um, here, let me, let me back up. For all the delves that I couldn't do with the Zolgoff and Zichurigan team, I should be able to with uh, with the Chomp team. I think our DJ Screw was saying that too. If you can't do it with Zol, you can do it with this guy. Yeah, and then I guess is um I'm trying to I'm trying to find the right I'm trying to find the right words right now. I think we have almost all the colors on this team. That's three colors there. Purple and red. I think the only one we're missing is blue, so color is kind of stretched thin. Yeah, yeah. I always avoid the elementalist teams. <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> So I'm about to get my ass wiped. Oh, there goes one.
too. Yeah. Yeah, that's another problem too. I don't think um you don't really want anybody uh you don't really want anybody frozen on here. Um, entangle. Yeah, Entangled, I don't... I think you could get by without it. But, uh... It's not game-breaking or anything. I mean, it's it's centered around Devour. But... Sometimes you might want to do Skull Damage, like I said, if you're dealing with Impervious or immune to Devour. You might want to... You might have to rely on Skull Damage. I think you're going to be frozen right at the outset, so yeah. What? Alrighty, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I just want to go ahead and do a, or I just want to go ahead and showcase this new team, so uh, I need to get to, need to get to this, I need a set to get this uh, video all prepped up and, and uploaded and all that, and still need to continue working on my blog post. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.